Welcome back to the channel for a brand new CC shopping haul and the very first haul of 2020, you guys. I cannot wait. I simply cannot wait to see what this year has in store, y'all. I'm telling you, big things, big freaking things. Believe that, okay? Just, just, just believe it. Maybe you don't have to. Honestly, I don't really believe it either, but we're just gonna go in with that energy and uh, yeah, we're gonna manifest that ish. Anyways, long story short, you guys, I'm gonna dive straight on in because I have a lot to cover so we're gonna pop over to the hairs now I'm just gonna go very quickly and show you guys all of the things that I downloaded um which was quite a bit but I'm gonna stop on the ones that definitely are like you know really just kind of like up there in in my faves category like this one for instance I don't really know where this hair came from but I love the highlights especially in this particular um swatch it is absolutely amazing typically I'm somebody who isn't a fan of highlights Highlights in The Sims 4, but this hair, mwah, you guys, it takes the cake. Now, another one that I have to like stop, drop, and roll and talk about um, is this one in particular. Like, at first glance, it's super kind of classy and sophisticated and very polished, but with a couple clicks of a mouse, you can turn this very polished hairstyle into something a little more edgy. I know. I love it. It's super cool. I love all of these little swatches. Um, you can make it just basically anything that you want. I personally want my hair to look like this, but obviously longer. Um, so maybe maybe I'll do that this year. Who who really even knows? So moving on um, to this hairstyle here by, we're going to call her Raichu. I think that's how you say it. Um, this one is just, again, one of those hairstyles that kind of takes your breath away. I love the braids. I love just the detail. Everything about it is super fun. Um, we have a bunch of these hairs by Austin aka Brittany I believe um in case you guys don't know I literally say this in every video but I'm a patreon and uh, these are some of the hairs that they um or he has released this month I love these they come with clips too by the way so that's just kind of like a general idea they're all kind of pretty similar um but they all have like their their differences and so I have a couple by Vakai which I really liked and this hairstyle um here I feel like might actually be created by this person, but I'm not really sure. Um, I really like too. It's kind of alpha, but it also has like these really pretty um, spiral curls at the bottom. It's really well done. The only thing that I'm not a fan of is that for whatever reason, the bangs are cutting into my sim. And I think that has to do with possibly like her eyebrows or something. Um, and then here we have a couple um, different variants of the Discover University hair. I've got another one by Raichu. This one actually has bobble on top of it. I think you can change the color. I'm not quite certain, uh, but I thought this was a really fun and cute little hairstyle. Now, Sims uh, Trouble is quickly becoming one of my faves. I absolutely am in love with this hair. I love the bangs. I love just the texture. Super gorgeous. Um, and then this one also is really fun too. Even if you aren't like a fan of like, you know, having like short hairstyles or whatever the situation is, I think short hairstyles on females looks great, but I know some people aren't a fan and that's cool. It's like, whatever, I'm not judging. But this hairstyle, y'all, is the bee's knees. It's the bee's knees. It looks so freaking flattering and beautiful. And like, oh, I just, I really like it. So just keep that in mind. Even though it has a dude on there, this is definitely, 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 um, obviously gender friendly. It doesn't matter, you know? Like, who the hell cares? Um, so also, Raichu came out with this hairstyle, which I, I like. You know, I do, but the hairline is just a little too, I don't know, it's a little too close to the eyebrows. So um, other than the hairline, I really like the rest of the hair. Um, I have this one by Kindle Spice, which is really nice. We also have this very elegant um, bun by, again, Raichu. I feel like she's pretty much dominating the entire haul at this point. Um, I feel like I've shown this ponytail before, but this one is by Goonie. Here is Zurich, had this hair cut come out and I really love that it's all kind of like swept to one side and feel like it's super duper beautiful and then oh this one okay I wasn't really expecting it when I clicked it I'm like all right let's check this out so obviously this is like a Franken mesh between the realm of magic and then um something base game but it is so beautifully well done it actually scares me I super 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 love this hair um it's a really cool one you should definitely check it out and Sim Mandy 
is another one of those creators that just constantly knocks the freaking calcetines straight off of my freaking feet. Um, another hair that I may or may not have featured um, in the last haul, but absolutely love. She was wearing this earlier, and another thing very similar to the other hair is that you could actually just go and kind of add some color to it which I really like, especially because obviously the color wheel isn't a thing in The Sims 4. Now, if you're very familiar with this hair, I promise you this one's a little bit different. I can't remember exactly what is different about this hair versus the original, but I'm telling you, it's something. Um, other than the clip is like off of it now, um, I feel like there's also something like with the volume of it. I'm not 100% sure, but I really love this hair. I love the shadowing. Uh, now there is a, I think it's like an artificial intelligence in AI. <laughs> um, I forgot what her name was, Little McKenna or something like that. I don't know what the heck her name is, but basically in a nutshell, she looks like a Sim. And this is the exact same hair that she has. And I love it. Now the darker swatches are a little, are they're a little perplexing. Um, looks beautiful in this red swatch, but it just isn't as rich in the darker swatches, but overall, it's just it's super beautiful I really like this one as well I would love to see it uh, for the toddlers if it isn't already um, I can't remember the creator of this particular hair but I really like it I definitely need to throw down um, some baby hairs to kind of make it a little more seamless but overall it's a super cool unique hair um, here we have another hairstyle that seems very similar to this like using the same bangs but I love the length of it it's kind of short kind of edgy um, and then Rye has another hair uh, this one is a little I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan. Um, again, like I love the concept, right? But like the lack of like sideburns, the way that it cuts around the ear. There's just a couple things about it that seem not 100% for me personally. Um, QR Sims has a couple of these like short hairstyles, which I really like. Here's a beautiful ponytail. We also have this kind of like half updo um, by Rye as well, completed with a bun. I love my Sims' ears are sticking out. I typically create Sims that have like super big ears or ears that kind of like stick out. Um, so it's not necessarily like the, the mesher's fault for that, it's mine, because like I love gigantuous ears on my Sims. It's like a thing. And oh, by the way, I will definitely be creating um, kind of like not even a tutorial I guess you could say but like some type of video on how I create my sims in 2020 because so many people have been asking like what are what are the skin details that I use or like you know what kind of um, like what what's the method to the madness of how I create my sims because I'm telling you from like 2019 to well, maybe 2018 to 2020 um, my sim style has definitely definitely done like a 360 I completely make my sims a whole other way now and so we have a couple other hairs okay by Marcel Marcel I think um, and there's three in total now absolute hands down one of my favorite creators I don't know there's just they're in their own lane I don't know what it is I love their hairs I just I've never been disappointed um and I don't know there's just they're, they're, they're consistent they're beautiful they're gorgeous the shadowing is amazing like everything about it is just absolutely freaking perfect so there is that now um I'm gonna go into hats next I actually did download this cute little like granny hat because I really just want to have more like mature elder clothing um and I want to represent all different age types even though let's be honest like <laughs> teens and wait not teens toddlers and children are like severely neglected in my game um which is pretty crazy but yeah I definitely want to get like you know all different types of age appropriate clothing um I ended up downloading like a biker set that's what that hat is from and this one is like a remesh of the outdoor retreats um kind of beanie thing which I kind of like the way that it looks too it looks super good I actually have it kind of paired in um a little outfit like moment which I'll share with you guys later the other day Ocean Sims was talking about these eyelashes that she had actually found and they were basically like the Maxis matched version of the Kajiko lashes but created by Picky Picky Pikachu um basically in a nutshell they are very very MM now are they my favorite will I be switching to these versus the Kajiko lashes I personally don't 
don't think so. Um, they're, they're, they're definitely MM friendly. So if that is something you're looking for, I highly recommend. Also, side note, I think that I will definitely try the ones out that don't actually have like the, the thick black line underneath. I feel like that kind of is throwing me off a little bit. Um, but if you are in the market for some new lashes that are completely MM friendly, I definitely suggest you checking these ones out. While we're still in accessories, the only other accessory that I have to share with you guys is a septum ring. So I actually have a bunch of these, but they are full enclosed rings while this one is just like the bull ring version, I guess. Um, I don't normally have my Sims use piercings, but I definitely feel like I am going to be using this one a lot in the future. So moving on to makeup, another thing that I very ever rarely like gravitate towards. Um, I actually downloaded a bunch of Cryptic Sims eyeshadows. I went ahead and picked up some of their um, like lipsticks, all that kind of fun stuff. And I have something super exciting to share with you. I am seriously so freaking pumped. It's like these little innovated um, whatnots that really change the game. And I don't think you guys are ready. I don't think you guys are ready at all. What's so freaking ever so I went through all of the eyeshadows I did download um, a couple eyeliners from the cat first obviously these would look a hell of a lot better if I actually had my Kajiko lashes and I even picked up these really pretty kind of like cat eye winged liners um, and then another interesting item from cryptic sim it are these like a little I don't know if they are like accent lashes sort of a thing I feel like these probably go with the Kajiko lashes but on their own they're pretty they're pretty cool I like the way that they look it's so, all right, let me go ahead and share with you guys like the big, exciting freaking shebang. Um, so I went and picked up a bunch of glossy lips. I love, love, love a good glossy lip, especially like the new style that's coming out. I feel like these are so much fun to play with and there's all different like styles and variations and all that kind of fun stuff. And also, um, here's kind of like a semi matte lip, which is pretty fun. Um, some of the swatches I'm not like a huge fan of, but like this particular one with the ombre literally freaking it just gets me so excited. Um, I also have like the Jolly palette and then we have the Vixen palette, which is really cool too. This just makes me want to work on my makeup line like so much more in The Sims, obviously. Like it just, it, it really is such huge inspiration. But the piece that I am so excited for, I'm actually going to save for last. Now, I'm a huge fan of like some of like the Instagram uh, filters. And I noticed like there's a bunch of ones that are very similar to this. Um, and I wanted to go and try these out because I just, I don't know, I kind of want to take like cutesy little pictures with my Sims. And even though these aren't like practical for everyday use, these are pretty freaking cool. Like I really love how beautifully well done they are. And they look great on all different skin tones. So, all right. Now, let's go and put on my my matte lip right well there's like this little face um face paint object that you can literally layer over every single or any different type of lipstick that you want thus making it glossy what the heck i am so freaking blown away you guys i actually get to see what my matte lipsticks look like with this gloss overlay i don't know the creator but trust me and believe it's going to be on my freaking tumblr but it works with any type of lipstick so you could use um obviously like you know uh, uh, ea created you can also use other different type of creators matte lips and make them glossy and if you just wanted an ultra glossy effect you can slap it on top of a pre-existing gloss and there you go it's like a mega shine and the specular is so freaking beautiful that it actually is shiny it's really cool I literally gagged when I saw what my lips would look like if they were indeed glossy so moving on to the clothing I have quite a bit to share with you guys um, I have a bunch of like these little cropped hoodies they come in some pastel colors then we also have these really fun ones that um have like the university logos on them um, more pastels I ended up actually picking up this jacket that I thought was really fun for obviously like outdoor attire um, I grabbed this little peplum tank top let me actually just go and change her hair really quick so you guys can see like everything in its entirety because it's kind of weird with her hair um, I grabbed a bunch of these tops too I think these are really nice with like leggings some cute little boots that type of a thing I grabbed this fuzzy jacket which I'm pretty sure I have but I looked at the creator and I feel like it was recently released this is definitely like one of my favorite items in the Sims 4 I am not even exaggerating um, I also have this really cool 
like plaid version of this top that I'm super excited to use. Uh, it doesn't come in too many plaids, but it comes in a couple stripes, a couple solids, that type of a thing. Here's a really beautiful shirt by Renora Sims. All of the RSs are by Renora Sims. I love that it is pretty covered, but it also has like this little peekaboo cut so you can see their cleavage. Um, I've got some more cropped sweatshirts and then we have the Grim Cookies and Delicacy collab. So um, right off the jump, there was only like a few different swatches, I believe. I can't really remember. Or maybe there's a lot. They were just primarily neutral. But um, this beautiful creator went ahead and actually recolored them. So now we have even more options. I love basics. And if you guys are looking for a really good, simple basic set, I definitely suggest you checking it out. You will not be disappointed. So a part of a big old freaking pack came a whole bunch of clothes, perfect for the entire family. Um, and in it is definitely one of my favorite sweatshirts. Like, I am obsessed with these patterns. They make me happy. They make me full of joy. Even down to the more like, um, intricate ones they look super like they look very on par to what would be in the game they look like they belong so i really liked those uh this particular like loungewear outfit actually has a really cute pair of like flare bottoms to it which is kind of nice and the model was wearing a belly button chain or like a belly chain which i thought was really sweet as well um we have this sweater which is a recolor of the sweater that you guys just saw a few moments ago. Um, I have a bunch of these little cropped t-shirts with different types of logos on them. We have this really beautiful halter, not halter, it's kind of like off the shoulder top, um, and a very sexy blazer. Now, I really like this one. Um, I'm not a huge fan of what I was going on underneath, and yes, the blazer does clip into some of the jeans, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool little piece. And here's another really nice top. I love how gorgeous this is. The colors are beautiful, bright and vibrant. Um, I love all the detail. It's not, it's like a basically an elongated version of the shirt that came with Discover University. Here's a really beautiful little um, like top with a scarf. We have this bad boy. I love the sleeves and even the different types of prints. They're super freaking fun. This one is really sexy. I almost passed it up, believe it or not. And I don't know why. Like, I don't know why I wouldn't want this in my game, but I also grabbed the recolor of it too and I cannot wait to like start styling my sims you guys literally have no idea and so this shirt here I do believe actually tucks in to jeans uh, typically but for whatever reason, um, it's clipping with this particular pair. So I also grabbed um, a very basic hoodie, which I really like. Has a nice little cut. Um, and then we've got this denim jacket with like a hoodie underneath, which is kind of cool. I think this is particularly for males, but it could be for females too. It really doesn't matter. Um, for the bottoms, I have a bunch. We've got some like unisex jeans. Uh, the only thing about unisex jeans is I notice on females, like if they're more geared towards males, um, they're practically falling off their hips. So I don't normally um, like them but I mean they're there so here are some beautiful 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 long pencil skirts in all of the prints definitely super friendly when it comes to all different life stages we also have these really fun sweatpants I love sweatpants like freaking mad like crazy like I could literally live in sweatpants I love them they're so cozy like you know you can get amp the fanny everything's just great when you're in a pair of sweatpants like literally like the world is your oyster so I totally appreciate those and this is basically a high-waisted version of the pants from Discovery University but um I grabbed them I grabbed them alongside um, a nice little recolor too so that I have more options to play with. Now these pants I do believe are a Patreon exclusive at the moment. Um, it's like a dollar to pledge. Nothing too crazy. Um, but I like them. I think they're really cool. I love the style. I love the cut. I love the little like bandana accessory. Um, I also went ahead and pledged to Madeline I believe is the creator um, of this skirt and uh, I paid five bucks to pledge which is kind of insane. They only have like two different creations at the moment but um, I really liked the skirt and so I was willing to pay for it. I think it's really cool. I, I'm happy with it personally. I don't know. And I also do like pledge um, so that you guys can see these items like obviously you did decide whether or not you want to pledge or more importantly um, just to kind of get a general idea of what they're going to look like in your game before they even release to the public because they will eventually at least that's the turn the TOU rules or whatever it is. But yeah, so 
I've got a few other items. Here's uh, some really cool jeans by Clumsy. I love how great these look. Uh, the Justice skirt, which is kind of pretty. You already saw um, the flare bottoms. We have these. I think they're kind of like just cuffed jeans. Ooh, this really pretty pleated skirt. I love this. I'm kind of like going through a little bit of a school, school girl vibe. Um, so I'm really excited to play with those. I have another skirt and another skirt. And then we've got a bunch of different like pants. So I have these really pretty dress pants. We've got a couple jean options, which I feel like I have a lot of jeans just to begin with. Um, but you know, like, I mean, come on, let's be realistic. You can never have freaking enough jeans like ever. I don't care who you are. So I also, grabbed a recolor of one of my favorite dresses of all time this is from get famous um, I also grabbed these little like farm girl dresses I don't know if that would be the proper term for these but I thought they were kind of cool um, all different swatches prints patterns just literally everything you can think of now this one is the Lydia dress and I do believe this is derived from I want to say um, <clears throat> realm of magic but I'm not 100% sure I really liked this too this one kind of like looks like a a maid dress, if I'm not mistaking. Um, here are a overall version of the overalls that came with Discover University, or a pant version, rather, and uh, I really liked that. We also have this dress here. I forgot, Rusty Sims. Okay, so I think Rusty Sims is actually like a bunch of creators, um, but let me tell you, they have some of the most elegant pieces of clothing I have ever seen. Like this dress, granted, probably not a vibe with the shoes, but overall, Overall is super beautiful and like elegant um, even this one is just super super freaking stunning and then last but not least we have this dress which I also really love I love like the, the, the deep plunge up the leg we've got like the little transparent bits I I just think everything about this dress is super sexy and then um, this one is probably one of my favorite like formal gowns it also comes in white which I think acts as a very like understated wedding dress um, I'm not really sure the name of this creator either but what I am sure about is this freaking piece is so busy, so intricate, and so stunning. Um, and I love how they like covered every single freaking swatch that you could possibly want in this particular item. So Julie J came out with this cute dress, which I wish was in more glitters. It's only in like one glitter color, which is kind of crazy. I would love to see it in like all the other swatches that are provided, um, especially the red one, because like I love red glitter. But you know what? It's a cute little going out dress. I'm totally glad to have it because I do not have enough of those now this outfit y'all it confuses the hell out of me but it was so unique so out there and so different from anything else that I had downloaded today that I had to put in my game and I have literally no regrets at all so I also grabbed a little bodysuit which I think is super hard to find um and I love the way that this looks this is super fun and the colors too are just stunning we also grabbed another going out dress like literally her nalgas are hanging out like they're just they're about to fall straight on down like a sack of potatoes but I'm sorry if the girls in Fashion Nova can do it so can you boo um another pair of overalls I do believe you could actually change the color of the sweater um, on this one of course I had to get another maxi dress because one of my favorite maxi dresses y'all um, I don't know what it is but it like severely screws up my game and so I got it in a solid I also got it in this really pretty um, kind of like I don't know like print cut kind of print option this one is super beautiful I love small tiny dainty flowers I might be a weirdo but I, I'm obsessed are you obsessed let me know because like that's my favorite swatch and then this is like a night night shirt I can't remember who, um, I think it was Ocean Sims who posted it, but I also saw like some matching socks that I wanted, but I don't think they are available to download. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent. Um, I'm not hundred percent certain. So I really did want to show you guys just really quick here. Some of the shoes that I grabbed, I grabbed Tom's, which, um, look like this. They're basically like the end game version of the shoe, but they say Tom. Um, I grabbed what could possibly be my favorite freaking pump. I am forever on the hunt for a pump that looks like it belongs in the game, but make no mistake. You guys, these ones are perfect. And they also come in a matte version as well. And the last pair of shoes are are these boots by Julie J. I have a lot of boots. I'm not going to lie, but you know what? Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> why not have one more you know what i mean um so yeah you can definitely change the sweater underneath the overalls um this bad boy is for something else all these things don't really matter um to be 100 percent honest and i think that's pretty much it like i think that's everything for the females now i did want to show you a couple other outfits uh that i created totally ignore her hair at the moment and does not match but um here's a nice little fall outfit that i put together and then we have basically a very just like you know chilled out kind of overall moment um and then her makeup with some of the items that i actually downloaded today and i love it especially my, my lips with this gloss like oh my god why didn't i think of that like why didn't i think of that and why didn't i think of that i don't know i just <laughs> i've been sleeping that's all i have to say so we're gonna move on to ezra who by the way is a freaking snack and a whole damn half um there is a brand new textured hairstyle on the market y'all and I'm, I'm obsessed i love this hairstyle so much i love the cut i love the style it looks great on him um here is the other hairstyle that you guys saw earlier by sim trouble i'm obsessed these ones are interesting they have like a lot of dingly bits they're kind of alpha in my personal opinion but i really like them too and then we have this super duper long ponytail that is absolutely stunning it's giving me huge major inspiration and Ezra is completely rocking it we also have this hairstyle which I think I have a million of again I'm a sucker I like I love like this clean slicked shaven look oh my god it's so exciting we also have these dreads now I'm pretty sure I downloaded a version that will provide like this two-tone look which is definitely like more my vibe I love that I think it looks great um but then we have the QR sims here I think this is a number two um these particular hairs actually come together in case you guys were wondering there's a lot of like ea swatches and then there's just some other like off-brand swatches which are pretty nice if you like the variety now i feel like i have downloaded hairs like this in the past but these are by sim aurelian oh, absolutely utterly and quite frankly just dreamy i love these hairs every single freaking one is just it's perfect so i also grabbed um some beards so we have this particular beard here not necessarily the most flattering with this hair but i actually kind of like it um so there's like a clean shaven one you know with the lines and then we've got a little bit of stubble kind of peeking through so you get a couple couple options there to um to play with and then moving on Hold on, let me go back one more. Moving on to the hats, you can see um, this guy, which is again the little beanie. And then I downloaded this turban. I love this. This is so cool. I'm not really sure why we don't have one in game quite yet but you know what whatever if you guys are looking for this definitely check out my tumblr i will have everything linked there um i grabbed this hat it's actually a part of a set by the way and this is the biker hat which you'll see that outfit here in just a moment but i do believe this set actually comes with this vest and then there should be a pair of pants just hiding in here somewhere i'm not really sure where exactly they are um but yeah that's basically the whole outfit and then if you go into the i want to say accessories there's like a jacket that goes over it i know it looks really sharp i like it a lot so yeah those are some of the hat items that i ended up actually snagging accessories i just have like the um what you would call it the septum nothing too crazy there and then for the actual like tops and stuff we have like the biker jacket we've got this vest um we have another rendition of the infamous jean jacket with like a dresser underneath um and we have this beautiful plaid top that is open but also comes in obviously solids and all different sorts of fun things um clumsy created this hoodie which is super realistic looking i love the way that this one looks and like falls on the body um we also have i think what it looks like a recolor of these items too um here's just like a basic i don't know like a layered t-shirt with long sleeve has like a little detail a couple text on there this one says 1975 for some reason um and here is like what i would like to call like the infamous diego castella shirt because i swear to god like he used to wear the shiz all the freaking time but i like it i mean i really like it and so we have a simple just basic little t-shirt all these things and the the orange logo they're all part of a pack in case you guys were wondering i think you kind of think you were kind of like catching on by this time but yeah they're all part of a pack and i think it's specifically tailored for male clothing so if you're like me and you don't know what the freaking heck to choose and you just kind of want to have somebody else do the thinking for you and you want a collection i definitely think you should check it out it has all different types of styles and like um outfit choices and all sorts of fun stuff so here's like a little tucked in a tank we have this really cool like i don't know this is like a librarian sweater or something but i don't know I 
I like it though, like a lot. Now this jacket is kind of borderline alpha, but like honestly, do I mind? Do I care? No, um, I really like it a lot, especially on this particular sim. And so I have a couple other items to share with you guys. And I think this polo shirt is just about it for the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and find something to put him in. Let's just do a basic old t-shirt. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just do shirtless because <laughs> the less, the better. Now, moving on to jeans, I grabbed these bad boys here. They come in a whole bunch of different variations. We've also got some really just basic um, ripped jeans, which look really nice. These ones are by Wakey. Um, a classic pair of denim. These ones are a little tight and they also have a little bit of texture to them. I'm not sure if these were geared towards women in particular, but they are available for the men as well. These jeans by Clumsy are seriously going to be my absolute freaking fave. And I do believe they come in some more darker swatches as well. Now these pants are one of my faves. They come a part of that set that I was showing you guys earlier. These ones are really cool too because they have like little decals and stuff on them, like little embroidered whatnots. And we have, um, I have no clue what kind of pants these are, but I love the belt. The belt is super cool. It's like nylon, I think, I don't know. Kind of looks like a seat belt. Um, and then we have, of course, some joggers, which is very fun and Cash. We have some <laughs> basketball shorts, a eh, now. And then last but not least, we have these ripped um, denim jeans that kind of come in like a different like ombre effect. A whole bunch of other types of things and stuff. And for full body, I've got this. I don't know what this is, but I like it. I like it so much. I can see this him wearing some damn earrings, getting his freaking LL Cool J on. Like, you know what? Just living his best life. It's 2020. Why freaking not? You know what I mean? Um, so back to accessories. I've got a couple like little things to the arm. We've got the mo motorcycle glove. Um, a couple things for like swatches if you wanted to change certain things on outfits and then oh we do actually have a couple pairs of shoes so we have some toms we've got some biker boots and a brand new pair of sneakers which i think are just like three colors to be honest with you um but i threw together this little outfit i really liked this and then i also have the biker outfit um literally it's a whole entire set i thought this was kind of cool i mean again like all of this stuff is like super different from like one another and i feel like you can create so many any sims with everything that I hauled today and I feel like it's also really beneficial for you guys to kind of see what it looks like um in an outfit so you can get even a better idea of what you're getting um so yeah in the comments down below let me know what your favorite piece was I personally think I'm obsessed with the lip gloss like effect thing um and this hair by Sim Mandy by far my top few items of the haul so I hope that you guys enjoyed this brand new CC shopping haul and if you did you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.